Okay, so we're about to go on stage and I'm scared and I'm excited and there's 20,000 people out there. Storytelling teaches us. It teaches us about history. It teaches us about how to make sense of really complex matters. And so for me, getting up on stage, sharing my story, I hope to leave people inspired. It was the year before the 2012 Olympic Games, and I had been training my entire life for this opportunity that was in front of me. But during my training, we found out that I had developed a stress fracture in my femur. Sitting out even just one month would have meant I was only getting further and further away from my goal because I had never even come close to Olympic standard before. It's so awesome to see the people I speak to really internalize that Olympic athletes aren't these superhuman creatures. We weren't born different. We don't drink lime green beverages that turn us into the Incredible Hulk. I'm nervous before I get on stage. All of that is so normal on the path to success. And that's why I started the Believe Initiative because I wanted to share my story of the path that I took to the Olympic Games and talk about the importance of being resilient and the power of believing in yourself in hopes of normalizing falling down and making mistakes on the path to success. It was the 2012 Olympic trials. I attacked every single hurdle like it was the absolute last one. Coming into the final straightaway, over the final hurdle, I remember having this feeling in my stomach, I've never wanted something so badly in my entire life. I got to the finish line, I leaned, and I won the race and was going to the Olympic Games. Far more people tell me they're inspired by the time where I didn't make the Olympics over the time where I did. By saying my goals out loud, I've inspired other people to say their goals out loud, whether I achieved it or not. We're all here to make a difference. And in order to make that happen, you have to believe in you. Find your word, your phrase, that reminds you of everything you've already been through, that reminds you to never give up. Maybe there's just one person in the audience that needed to hear that they need to believe in themselves just that one more time, and instantly that inspires them into action. It energizes me. I, I become inspired by seeing the change that other people want to make. And I know that after I leave the stage, I'm providing the tools that will allow people to replace I can't with I can't yet. On the count of three, one, two.